actually a picture of a 3D appearance nipple tattoo that I was working on. And working with compromised skin, that includes thin skin after surgery, after a mastectomy, radiation, scarring, lymph removal, and creating slower healing. And that might take multiple sessions to get that tattoo to heal in and actually get the result that you want, which is why we have compassionate pricing. So those follow-up sessions are included in your initial cost. And we work with you and everything's done on a case-by-case -case basis to make sure that um, everything is ideal for your skin type, what you've been through, and um, the type of style and tattoo that you're looking for. So here's a couple examples. So there's the before. So a lot of people don't realize that after a mastectomy, you don't have nipples anymore. So the entire breast is removed, including the nipple. And we're able to tattoo a 3D appearance nipple on in its place. And the two larger images are actually of a healed nipple. And that's just after one session. So sometimes um, it won't heal in perfectly because it is compromised skin, but we can also do a quick sort of follow-up just to add more definition and detail and ensure that it looks as realistic as possible for you. But it's a pretty good result for just one session on, on um, it's actually, you can see it's directly over a scar right through the middle and it really distracts your eye from the scarring. So here's another couple examples, and you can see that the placement of the nipple tattoos actually do create more symmetry. So you can see that the breasts are um, different sizes and shapes, or one's bigger or lower, but with the placement of the nipples, it actually makes the breasts look more symmetrical. And these are done on a flat surface. So whether you have reconstruction or not, or whether you opt for nipple protrusion surgery after reconstruction, um, we can tattoo a 3D appearance nipple there. So here are a couple examples, and those are on a flat surface over scars. And there's an example there of a revised scar that I did. So we basically re-traumatize the scar tissue, and when it reheals, it introduces more collagen back into the scar, and it will actually lessen the shiny appearance that it has, make it look more matte, and actually bring the tissue down from being raised and flatter and smoother.